Hello, and welcome to this track wrestling help video. Our goal at track wrestling is to make running your tournament as easy and as efficient as possible. In this video, we'll go over activating your pre-registration. There are a few steps that must be done to get your pre-registration activated. The first is going to be logging into your pre-registration. There are two ways that you can do that. The first way is from inside your event. To find the pre-registration, click on left menu, registration, and then select pre-registration. This is going to open the import from pre-reg page. Here at the top of the page, you'll notice click here to log in to your track wrestling registration system for this event. Go ahead and click there. And that takes you into the pre-registration. Another way and probably a more common way is from the event list. You search for your event and then look to the right and click on the pre-registration link. Here, you're gonna be taken into the public facing view of your registration and we'll see that this is not active. We're gonna go ahead and click up here on this blue admin box and you'll be asked to enter your tournament login information. The page that opens will be your pre-reg wrestler list. Since the pre-reg has not been activated, there will not be anything listed here. At the top of the page, you'll see a number of red tabs that will help you get your pre-reg set up. To get started, click on the setup guide, which will open up step-by-step -step instructions on how to activate your registration. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the wrestler list and go through a few of these tabs. One of the first things you're going to want to do is go into the pre-reg limits and make sure that you have some pre-reg limits set up. Hit save. You'll want to go in and check your deadlines and then we'll go in and add any data fields that need to be added. Data fields allow you to collect additional information like actual weight and t-shirt size. To add a data field, you're just going to go ahead and click on add field and then you're going to enter the name of the field. We want to collect actual weight. We want that to be a number. I don't want to use a pick list. We're going to enter the range for the weights and then we'll give instructions. We'll leave required field as yes because I want to collect that information from each wrestler and then we'll hit add. The field shows up there. If for some reason I wanted to delete that, I would just click delete and that would remove it. So now we're ready to go to the basic info tab. Once you get to the basic info tab, it's best to work from the top to the bottom. If you're accepting online payment, you'll want to click on the blue here in the deposit method box and fill out your account information. Please note, if you're not already signed into your MyTrack account, it's going to ask you to. The MyTrack account is different than your billing account and your tournament login. Working down the page, we're gonna fill out our contact information. I'm going to ask the people to pay at the door. I'm gonna leave the matrix set at no. And I'm going to leave the team list set as no. I want people to be able to add teams. Next, we come to the section asking about processing fees and the technology fee. You will need to decide if you're going to pass the fees on to the wrestler or if the event is going to cover those. The fees include a 3.15% charge for credit card payments and a $2 per wrestler wrestler technology fee. If you pass the fees to the customer, these fees will be added to the invoice and paid by the customer at the time of checkout. If you choose to keep the fees, they will be subtracted from your total registration before your deposit is sent. Once you've selected an option, you are unable to change that. Please note, if your event is using on-site payment only, you will be invoiced a $2 per wrestler wrestler technology fee. This fee is for using the pre-registration system and cannot be passed on to the customer. Once everything has been completed, we're just going to go ahead and scroll down and hit the save button. Mine is covered up by this testing environment banner. And then that'll take us up to the top once it's been saved. Now we're ready to activate our pre-reg. So you'll see at the top of the page, a line of text in red that reads, this registration is currently inactive. 
click here if you would like to attempt to activate it. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the blue here. And we're going to type I agree and hit OK. When the activate button is clicked, the system goes through our pre-reg setup to make sure that everything needed to activate the pre-reg is there. If something's missing, you'll get a pop-up telling you what is missing. For this example, we got the pop-up, the 6U group in Track Wrestling Test Pre-Registration does not have any weight classes added to it, and therefore this registration could not be activated. Every group in the tournament must have a weight class added to it. If you are doing Madison block bracketing, add a weight class called NA. Please update this information and you can try to activate again. We're just going to go ahead and click OK. We'll go to the Divisions and Weight tab. And then we're going to click on the 6U division. And we see, sure enough, there's no weight class. We'll hit Add Weight Class, type in NA, and hit Add. Now we can go back to the Basic Info tab and click the Here Again to try to activate. When the registration has been activated, you'll get a message letting you know that your registration has been activated. Go ahead and click on OK. And now your registration is activated. One more thing to note on this page, if you look at the top, you'll see this blue line of text. This is your direct link to your pre-registration. You can right click, copy that, and then you can paste that into emails, websites, or social media pages to share your pre-reg link. Now, if we go back out and click on pre-register, we'll see that our pre-registration is active and ready to accept registrations. Thank you for watching this track wrestling help video. If there's anything else that we can help with, please use the support tab located in the top right corner of the page to contact our support team. Thanks again and have a great tournament.